The YMCA makes learning fun and interactive. For example, we got to try out various household utensils and tools and use them as different types of bird beaks. We also got to test the pH level of the lake water. I hope future classes of fifth grade will get to experience the YMCA like I did. Howdy everyone, I'm Garrett Powell from Beeline Navigation. Over the course of our time in Incubator, we met numerous mentors that taught us invaluable professional skills that we will all use in our careers moving forward. In particular, my team would like to highlight our mentor, Bruno Rodriguez. Bruno is a Googler who is specifically involved with the Google Cloud platform. And for a tech company like us, that is awesome. We are leaps and bounds ahead of where we would have been otherwise. Bruno always had resources and advice for us, and it seemed like he supported us when no one else did. So as we go off into our own independent universities, we just want to say thank you, Bruno, for steering us in the right direction. Thank you. Hi, my name is Natasha Frederick, and I am a Leander High School senior. I will be graduating this year. Um, and I would like to talk to you guys today about a mentor that has really influenced my life throughout my high school career. Now, this person is a Miss Emily Vera. She works at Leander High School in the Ag Department. Throughout being close, being in class with her and then getting close with her, I ended up joining um, FFA and being more involved in FFA, partly because I want to, partly because Siobhan told me. <laughs> um, either way, I had a blast and she really opened my eyes to like all the opportunities that are out there especially in FFA and those among many other things including her horrendous but adorable puns that she loves to tell um really and truly make her one of a kind so this video is dedicated to Miss Farah uh I love her and I know you guys will too all right tell me about Mrs. Simpson let me tell you something I think that a girl principal is more powerful than a boy. She takes pride in her position and she like makes it known that she's like happy to be here and she's proud of what we're doing like in the school. And I think it's really cool. Leander ISD is enormous and there's lots of students with different conflicts that they're facing not only in their programs but individually and so having that understanding of there's a lot of problems that are always happening within the district. There's never going to be a time where everything is perfect. Um, is something that's very valuable to have. And I'm very thankful that I'm a part of a district that is very open to that and knowing that there are a lot of um, faults. But there's also a lot of accomplishments uh, out of Leonard ISD, which is something to be very proud of. So that's what I'm thankful for. Just coming off of like a really competitive like band season in the fall specifically with like a lot of structure and like organization with like after school rehearsals multiple times a week to basically having to do it all on our own um, at home remotely through all the assignments that we have as well as like trying to keep up with our music. Um, I guess in the band world specifically has been a little bit difficult just because there's not that much structure that we would have seen in the fall. So just the independence aspect of it's been pretty difficult to kind of adjust to. I think something that's pretty difficult so far is that uh, so I'm involved in a lot of clubs and so we've been preparing all year for certain competitions and stuff like that. So with the cancellation of a lot of these um, our, a lot of our clubs do have Zoom meetings where we catch up, but it's not really the same. There's a lot of different situations that we don't know how to address because you don't have enough information. And because most of us in the clubs are seniors who are going to graduate, we don't get the chance to do what we've been doing the whole year, possibly ever again. So that's a little bit difficult to understand. That's Gio. Oh my God, Gio, you want to make me cry. Thank you for how joining you? us, Gio. I'm good. And when I see you, I'll automatically cry. <laughs> <laughs> Giovanni, you have an interesting story. Miss Nazarene shared a little bit. You're joining us from, from Sicily, correct? Yes. Right now I'm in Italy, yes. I had to come back because my exchange program had to close to end. So I had to come back and they kind of forced me. What does school look like for you right now? So right now I'm just doing uh, online school, still for Vandegrift. I'm not living that school. And I still want to continue doing it. And I want, I want to finish that year. But uh, I'm going to have to, at the end of the year, catch up with some stuff from my Italian school because I need to close and the year uh, also here in Italy. Because if I don't, I just fail this year. And then um, 
I'm just gonna probably do the next year here in Italy or I'm even trying to get back there but it's hard. For those who aren't familiar with the concept, what is mindfulness? Mindfulness is staying in the present moment, not focusing about anything, like not being stressed out or not worrying about what you're going to have for lunch or what you're going to do for the rest of the day. You're just focusing on the present moment and staying calm. Thinking too much about the outcome can lead you to fall short of your goals. When you focus too much on things you can't see, it blurs your vision. But if you focus on what you can see, then, I mean, our graduating class is 2020, so 2020 vision. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <sir. laughs> and even when we like things, sometimes we have to kind of grind through the hard part, yeah. right? Sometimes you just have to grind through it like, like a hard piece of cheese. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have to grind through it as hard as you can. <laughs>